Hi everybody, today I am going to be taking a look at another planner. This one I actually was not requested. This is not requested of me. I requested it myself because it happened to be sucked into an Instagram ad. I follow this person on Instagram and I got like the advertisements both on her regular feed and on the like the, the you know, promoted ones and it sucked me in and I ordered it so I figured we'd take a look because it's really pretty. <laughs> So the company that makes this planner is called High Note, but I bought it through the Artist Spotlight. Her name is Kelsey, but she goes by the name Kelzuki. She does a lot of realistic animal, and like she does a lot of animal and like bugs and birds and whatnot paintings. And this planner features her artwork. So High Note Planner by Kelzuki, and she's selling it through her Instagram, but I'll leave all the information down below. I bought this with my own money. This is not sponsored. This was not sent to me, and all of these opinions will be uncensored and my own. If you have any planners you would like me to take an uncensored look at, leave them in the comments below. So this is $30, which is a great price for a planner. It's a 17-month planner, August 2023 through December 2024. And here are some other stats that I pulled off of the website. Uh, it has her full color illustrations on the cover and throughout the planner. It's nine by 10 by one in terms of sizing, 17 months, like I said, a beautiful four color artwork throughout, foil embellishments on the front and back cover, durable scuff proof hardcover, exposed wire O binding, elastic closure. There's a sticker sheet. There's notes pages, etc., and it's printed with soy-based inks on FCC paper, FSC paper, excuse me, and shipping within the U.S. is included in the sale price, which I think is awesome. It does not give any information on what the paperweight is that I, that I could see. So let's take a look at it. Let me take this little, little situation off. Oh, and see there is her little artist spotlight. On the, I'm just going to rip this. What am I even doing? Okay. All right, so here is the cover and it's got her butterflies with the gold embossed 2024 and each butterfly is numbered. You can find out what all these different butterflies and moths are on the back. The cover is matte except where the butterflies are. The butterfly, like I don't know if you can see here, the butterflies are glossy, but the whole cover is not. You can see the light shining off of the whole cover, but it's the butterflies that are glossy, not the actual cover, which I think is a pretty cool little trick and the printing details beautiful I'm not a big fan of wire o bindings but I'm learning to live with them it's gold the back has a couple more uh, butterflies it looks like they're like different sizes here and then more gold embossing with the high note and the wire o itself is gold it's a very full wire o binding like it's not a huge wire o binding it's probably a good like not the half the size, but at least a third the size smaller than my Moxie Life, but it's full right to the brim. So there isn't a lot of room here to come to pack it with stickers, but I'm sure you could make it work because we planner people, we are industrious, if anything. Opening, and it's a nice thick, very thick cover, uh, very hard cover. <laughs> the inside said this planner belongs to, and it has like a gold on black polka dot kind of paper. And then here it says high note, featuring Kelzuki, just the information on the front here. Then we have um, a calendars at a glance and at the top is like a little, a little kind of cat situation, cat animal <laughs> with a Sunday start. And it goes 2023, 2024. And there's a tab here that says 2023, 2024 and the tab is laminated. Then we have special dates here, six months on a page, January through December with another, there's animals all over this. That looks like a turtle. And then that has a special dates tab. And it looks like these are the tabs that continue to go down the side of the planner as they go, but only the area that has the text is laminated. So if you look at this, this is like paper and then this is laminated. Then we have holidays here. August 23 through December 24. And it looks like there's a whole bunch of different ones. They've got Australian holidays, New Zealand holidays, Canadian holidays, UK holidays, other things I don't even recognize. QLD, what is QLD? Queensland, question mark? Um, it's got the equinoxes. It's got Jewish holidays. It's got a bunch of like Arbor Day, May Day. Juneteenth, summer solstice. There's a lot of holidays here. A lot. It's very small print and it's single spaced. So that's cool. 
And the special, my special dates did not get laminated. It looks like everything else did though. Then we have contacts pages. We have two of these, two contacts pages. Each one has room for eight, so 16 total contacts with a little person, a little phone, a little like at for their social media, and then a spot for their address. And then it looks like it's some kind of a whale or a porpoise or something up there. And it looks like the colors also kind of coordinate with each other in terms of like, this is a blue porpoise, here's a blue thing. It's a brown turtle, here's a brown thing. So they're very earthy kind of colors so far. A couple of notes pages, and they've got a bird up on the top with a what looks to be sort of college ruled, uh, kind of a pinkish terracotta color on the side. And the, the lines are a very kind of light warm toned gray, which is the same print that I've noticed on all of these as well. You have another spread of notes, two spreads of lined notes, two spreads of grid notes. The grid squares are five by five millimeters and there's a big empty like blank spot on each of one side of each of the two spreads. Here's the butterflies again. And then we have August, which is pink. And it says creatures of the order Lepidoptera. Lepidoptera, I, I don't know. Don't make me pronounce. But this has like the butterflies. I'm assuming that's their order. And then it says August 20, Aug 23 at the top. So it gives you the year as well as the month on the tabs, which is a feature I don't usually see in a lot of planners. That's pretty cool. August 23 um, on this like dusty rose color, which I think is beautiful. We have the monthly spread, which has butterflies at the top. The calendar is a Sunday start. It has grayed out numbers for the part of the month that's not this month, like previous July here, September here. But then the numbers are the same color as the, like the theme of the month, which is this dusty pink. Uh, there's all the holidays are on here. The, well, not, are all the holidays on here? There's three holidays here. I'm going to see if they put them all out here, if they're being selective. Nope. It's all the holidays on here. So I'm assuming they put all the holidays on here. Not my favorite. I'm like, put them in the front, let people write in what they want. But it also has the moon phases on here. And then on the side is a lined notes column and a previous month and a upcoming month Sunday start little calendar. And now we're this. That's pretty cool. So you get like a dashboard page. The dashboard page at the beginning of the month gives you space for three goals inside of the little arrow, three goals, four steps per goal, and then four due dates per step. At the bottom, there is space for a project planning, start date, deadline, budget, steps, and notes. On this side, we've got a must-do list, a hope-to-do list, to call and email, to purchase, to read and watch, and then a dot grid note to self section. It looks like every single page has the same divider on it so that you can easily find each month. And then your week is on two pages. It's a horizontal layout. You have a Monday start. And again, the color that is the number of the month is matched to the color that matches the month. So August here is that dusty rose, but July was this more terracotta color. And it has a butterfly at the top. Looks like different butterflies on each day. Then you have a list on one side. You have a list on one side with eight to-do list items and then eight lines on the other side for Monday through Friday. And then for the weekend, you get just the eight to-do list on each side. I am a fan of giving, instead of having all this extra space, giving the room to each weekend day to get more space, but I know that not everybody is. And then you get the tiny calendar up in the corner. And every page has different butterflies and they're in different spots. So we'll go through this and look at each month so you can see the different illustrations. So this is Ep Creatures of the Order Carnivoria. It looks like it's a bunch of mammals and some such. It's a lot of um, like predators almost. And then... It's this kind of like warm brown color. And yeah, they are putting all the fucking holidays on here. So this is, I like, okay. We're going to talk about this when we get to the end, but I'm just going to make a point right here that this brown 
is a little lighter than the brown on the edge, which I think is different. No, it's a little bit lighter. Make it easier to see, I guess, but I still would struggle a little bit seeing whatever I wrote on these dark pieces. Skunk! Then we've got Creatures of the Order Testidines. It looks like it's mostly turtles. And it's like this dark kind of black. It's like, I want to say maybe a step above black. Maybe black, like a dark, dark gray. And of all of them, I like this one the most, probably, except it would be the hardest to read, probably because it's the least amount of color. <laughs> and I like my planners to be neutral. But this is very cute. We've got a dark blue for creatures of the Infra Order Cetacea, so whales. We've got narwhals, we got porpoises, we got fucking all the whales. As somebody who wanted to be a marine biologist, I love this. Even though, again, color is not my thing, but I do like this dark navy. I really like the colors in use here because they're very, um, they're pretty, but they're not like the same colors that get used in a lot of planners, if you know what I mean. All the brights. Then we get into December. Speaking of brights, we've got some birds here. And it's this kind of pinkish terracotta color. I didn't mention the holidays also show up on the weekly spreads. You get fucking holidays for days in here. We got a brownish red here, kind of a maroon, like almost like a houndstooth color for January. And we're back to the same carnivoria. So I wonder, is each of the colors... Yeah, it looks like everything repeats. It must be on a six-month thing because we got back to the turtles, whales birds, butterflies, carnivores, turtles, whales, birds, carnivores. Where's the butterflies? Did we miss butterflies? We missed butterflies here. Whales, carnivores, turtles, whales. So I'm kind of bummed out. I was hoping that every single month would have a different set, but this is still kind of cool, especially if it's over a year and a half, then it's not like you're going to be having whales and then the next month having whales again. Yeah, that does bum me out just a little because I think it's a missed opportunity to showcase more art. Then you have a January 2025 calendar at the very back with the birds on it and then a 2025 year at a glance. And then here are your stickers, which look like they're done in the same colors as here, but I feel like they're a little bit brighter. Like, I don't recognize this mustardy color. This mustardy color doesn't show up in here at all, and I think it kind of clashes. And, like, this navy blue is a little brighter. I feel like the colors on the stickers are just a little brighter than the muted tones of the planner, which I find to be kind of desaturated. So that's a bit of a bummer. I also think that these stickers are kind of clip arty looking especially considering how delicate and beautiful the art is in the rest of the planner. But you get a whole bunch of flags and some really weird shapes that I'm not used to. Pendants, I guess. Some don't forget stickers, day off, exclamation points, little flags, stickers, vacation, lightning, some cocktails, coffee, some smiley faces, and the cut is really off on these. Look at that. The cut is super off on these. It looks like this thing was cut weirdly. Yeah, the dog. I don't think I would find most of these. I mean, I probably wouldn't use them anyway, but like most of these stickers are pretty much unusable, which is sort of a bummer because the rest of the planner is so cute. And then this feels like an afterthought. And then the back, we have a nice pocket that feels a little flimsy. Like it's already starting to rip off and I barely touched it. So I would just be careful with the pocket. And then you have the back of the planner with the polka dots. So before I get into more of my thoughts that I've already gotten into, the paper, let's do some um, pen testing. So the paper is kind of an off gray. It's got that like slightly gray color you get with certain kinds of printing. It's got a little bit of a tooth to it and it feels fairly lightweight. Like it doesn't feel like printer paper. It feels halfway decent. But for a 17 month planner to be only an inch thick, it's not a nice hearty paper for those of you who like that. So for my pen test today, I will be using a Pentel Energel 0.7 gel pen, a Le Pen, uh, Le pen Fineliner, 
we've got a Tombow dual brush marker, a Zig clean color dot marker, and a Zebra mild liner. A couple of quick notes. I'm heavy handed. I did a light and then a heavy press of the dot pen and a single and a double pass of the mild liner. Writing on the paper felt really nice. It didn't feel very smeary. It also felt a little absorbent, which usually means no smear, but sometimes can mean more bleed through. Although I'm pleasantly surprised, there really isn't a lot of bleed through here. We have very little ridging with the fine liner, some ridging with the gel pen, and then some light ghosting with all of the markers. But the only time it even came close to bleeding through was at the end of the double of highlighter. So that's really nice. It's decent paper. I would say that this could be good paper to work with if you like to use different kinds of markers on it but just, it does feel very absorbent. So I would say, I don't feel any pilling, but I would say maybe if you're gonna lay it on pretty heavy, you might start to get into some pilling. It just has that kind of feel that some papers do. Overall, I think this is an excellent planner for the price, 30 bucks for a hard covered wire bound, you know, planner with some goal setting. This is actually a really good deal. For a planner of this size. I'm not gonna lie. I've reviewed a lot of planners and a lot of planners that tend to be sort of in this style tend to be in the more $50 range. So $30 that includes shipping is actually an excellent price. And if you like these kinds of illustrations, you'll probably love this. My personal hangups with this planner, why I wouldn't use this, because even though I love the illustrations, it has too much color in it and I don't like how the weekends are. And that sticker sheet at the back is like kind of a travesty to me. So that's why I wouldn't use this personally. But overall, decent paper, good layout. Like the layout is not a shitty layout. And it's pretty and it's unique in terms of how it is decorated. Like you might not like all of this fucking toxic pro positivity shit that shows up in a lot of <coughs> happy <coughs> planners. But like, you may like having decorations. And this is different than a lot of this. This is very different than a lot of the stuff that's out there. So this may appeal to you. But overall, um, if you're into neutral planners, this is definitely not it. So I can see this being for a certain audience of people. And I think that there is no real issue with it, with the exception of that sticker sheet and potentially filling it up really fast if you like to use stickers. But you don't need to use a lot of stickers because there's all these beautiful illustrations in it. So I think that it's pretty cool. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'm going to be doing a giveaway at some point coming up soon, but right now I'm swamped with work. So now is not the time, but this will definitely be in it. Even if it doesn't get given away until Christmas time, this will have a full year left in it. So... You need to yank out the earlier months and then have plenty of room for stickers. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Kelzuki planner and then any planners you might like me to take a look at or other products in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, my dudes, peace.